Welcome to YouTube Explore channel. In the previous lesson, we made a video up to user form, how to make user form, and how to design the user form in Excel by using developer app. But here, we'll be proceeding further. Now we have made a user form and designed it as well. So let's close it. And the very second step should be from go to file go to save as then here make your file name and click over here in the drop down list then click on in the second option excel macro enable workbook then click on save your file will be saved because i have already saved my file in Excel macro but you should have to do this otherwise you will lose your coding and the user form as well so let's start the coding work today how to make an entry through user form so that the data should be added in Excel sheet where we wanted to have it let's put an entry here inspecting and just edit the data here so you see how we can add the data in a very simplified way but before that you have to understand few things you might need the IDO people in another sheet but I put it over here in the same sheet you have to select this IDs up to which you have mentioned in the Excel sheet then go to name box over there you have to write ID employee ID whatever you write then for instance I just write here ID and then click on enter do not click somewhere else just click on enter after writing the ID in the name box it will help you to find it again if I click on ID I find it here if I click on the other one I find it here and the selection will be selected automatically once you click on the name box selection so further we'll be going to do coding for this user form friends yesterday we have not added this button so what I did I opened the toolbox and I used another button from here drag it over here and make the reset button and just design it as I wanted and I also added one text box here as a serial number like we have seen over here serial number name ID gender underneath which the entry made in the user form will be come over here so let's start with the coding first we will click over here in the outer side of the frame this is the frame this is the outer side click over it, double click here then here you can see the simple coding the text box one where we have to mention the serial number one to three text box one equal to application dot function function dot maximum here the maximum function is being used sheet 1 my data here is it presented in the sheet 1 you can see sheet 1 and dot range bracket start inverted comma where I want my data like I mentioned earlier I want my data underneath these headings so here the first cell is A5 what I do I change it to A then to A1000 A5 colon A1000 up to which I want my data to be represented in the cell so what happens now the first entry is being mentioned in the user form now I'll click double click on add button and we will come over here in the add here the coding is dim x as long dim y as worksheet this worksheet then we have to set y what is worksheet y it is sheet 1 where my data has to be represented after I've mentioned the entry in the user form so x is equal to this y dot range where my data will start in the first column to be displayed in excel sheet here this is the first column a and a5 
from where the data will be start entering in Excel sheet and rows dot count bracket close dot end bracket start Excel up friend it is X L up U P bracket close dot row plus one now we will start further with the condition with Y my text box one will represent dot cells X column one column one is A where my data will go dot value equal to text box one text box one is that text box we will be representing a serial number dot cells X bracket start X comma two X is row two is the column now B B you can also write here A B C D instead of writing the column number one two three then bracket close dot value equal to text box two text box two is where I have to mention my employee name then dot cells x row three column here this is x where I will mention my data column wise it's a single x row but my dasha data will represent in column wise as I mentioned here in the sheet coding so this is combo box one where my IDs will come like I have mentioned you here earlier as well this need to be first name used it as a name box then only I can be able to select here you can also use a text box here instead of a combo box but for the time being I just wanted to let you know about the combo box function as well that's why it is being used here so my further coding is if option button one dot value equal to true means if mail is selected and it is true then it should display in the column four means D column here in the column four one two three four this is the fourth column you can also mention the alphabetically D over there as well instead of four and similarly we use the same coding for female here we use the if coding because it will represent if this is being selected or not being selected then only and it should be ended with ending if you didn't mention the end of function here after starting the condition with if you can't let your coding work it will give you an bug that your coding is having some kind of problem so a uh, next work is reset this button reset we used unload me user form one dot show user form one is the name of my form you can see here in the project VB right side here this is the name of the user form so I have to use the coding for closing as well to close I just simply used unload me alright friends now friends if I come back to my user form and I click here this is text box too you can see in the properties as well in the text box to what I did text box to dot text equal to application dot work sheet function dot proper the proper function will represent here that the first letter of the word will be alphabetical for instance if somebody name is John Cena the J will be capital and the middle name Cena C will be capital I'll show you in a moment so we can able to know what the actual function is it is so friends here I mentioned the serial number 3 and then the person name is J I just mentioned click on J rather than pressing the shift and then clicking on J as well so J John C now C came capital automatically because I mentioned the function proper in the text box too and I selected the ID here of the person and this person is a male and click on add you will find your data comes over here automatically so now you have to enter new ID just click on reset the form will be get reset in case you don't want to make any entry just click on close so 
let's make another entry then I will let you know one more interesting thing as well this is Rita and she is having her ID 115204 and she is a female and click on add and you, you can enter new ID as well by clicking on reset but for the time being we don't want to add any more entry but friends now another thing is everybody is looking to make it border and you, what you have to do you have to go here then click on all border to make a border but what we can do easily is we just select the first row or we can select the whole then we have to go to condition formatting make a new rule and then click on use a formula over here just enter equal to and then click on a5 a5 just need dollar a5 you have to remove the another dollar if it is greater than zero then what happens my border comes immediately automatically without any restriction so you see here now what happens if I have to make new entry and before that what we have to do is we have to just select this the first row go back to condition formatting go to manage rules here you have seen that in the manage rule we have got it my ID from A5 to D8 why not we go it with 1000 instead of D8 click OK now if you come back over here and make new entry by just adding D the name of the person and this is her ID she is a female and you see now the border also came up obviously automatically because we have mentioned the formula over there so friends first thing is you don't have to shift and then press shift and then click on the word to make the first left capital letter you can use this proper formula immediately and then you can also have a border automatically friends I hope you like this part too which I wanted to show you how to make and design then afterwards how to put the entries in the excel sheet through data entry user form I hope you like the video 